Hello, I'm Dan. Welcome to Producer Dan. So today, I'm going to revisit one of my old songs, a song called Horizons Line. I wrote this song about 10 years ago, and I've always considered this song to be one of my better songs. Uh, I went on a really nice trip to Europe for about three weeks. I actually also went to Greece and to Egypt all on the same trip. And as you can imagine, it was a life-changing experience and I had an amazing time and I came back just reeling from the adventure. What I'd like to do now is re-record it, revisit it, give it the production that I believe it deserves. Uh, I'll tell you a little story about the song. Uh, one night I set up with my piano and had a little piano jams session to see if I could come up with uh, some a melody or some nice chord progressions. So I recorded myself for about 20 minutes to a half an hour and then put it away and went back to it the next day. And there were maybe two or three different elements that I really liked, some chord progressions I liked. And uh, so I built the song from that. I guess to make a long story short, I never sat down again and, and, and learned this song. Uh, and what you hear in the original recording is just kind of a Frankenstein uh, compilation of uh, uh, things that I liked from that jam session. Now I'd like to play you just a little bit of that original recording, just so you can get an idea of the song and, and uh, its original um, uh, production. The sky bears witness she drops down to say hello And I've walked a thousand miles And I've crossed horizons over mountains Under desert skies And I, I shot past the sun In a rocket ship to another time And I, I set sail by myself Set out to find myself And realize this dream of mine I've crossed horizons line So now I'd like to discuss the lyrics to Horizons Line. This is where I think this song really shines. And I think this is a very good example of saying as much as you can in one or two lines. Describe a scene, evoke emotion. Uh, let's start at the very first verse. Touching down on unfamiliar ground today. I wanted to use the word ground as we move forward through the song you'll realize that I'm talking about fields and castles and so rolling fields of green and castles gray. I took trains from different places I was staying and these trains of course would go through these beautiful uh, rolling fields of green. In these fields you would see ruins everywhere just uh, whether they were old houses or uh, old barns or even castles, and I ventured far away from home by myself on an adventure uh, to sacred ground where shadows of the past are formed. Europe. <laughs> it's just, it's obviously history at every corner. In the first few seconds of a rainstorm, the sky bears witness. She drops down to say hello. That also paints a picture of I was by myself and kind of just enjoying the environment. And I've crossed horizons. Now, the reason I called this song Horizons Line is because I live in Miami Beach and the apartment I had at the time had a really nice view of the ocean. So every day I would see the horizon and it went straight across the ocean. Every day, never changed. <laughs> also, uh, I'm kind of a Trekkie. I'm kind of a space nerd. The horizon line of a black hole, uh, that is a term. So it really means the point of no return. Once you pass that horizon line, it's a life-changing experience. So uh, that has a double meaning and it makes that a little more potent. Uh, over mountains and under desert skies, I shot past the sun in a rocket ship to another time. Basically, I was in an airplane. I went from <laughs> from the United States to Europe, and I did pass the sun. So all of that happened. It's just 
how do you say it? Um, I said, sail by myself, set out to find myself and realize this dream of mine. I've crossed horizon's line. I could have said, I've crossed the horizon line, but in this song, I'm treating horizon as an entity, meaning horizon owns that line. It has nothing to do with horizon, the phone company or phone line. And this is where the song gets really kind of real for me. In a train going through Ireland uh, on a beautiful day, I saw a little donkey out in a field by itself, head down, eating grass. Very just chill, enjoying its life beyond the fields were these hills. Would the creature seek the field of green beyond its reach, realms beyond its possibilities, if he were lifted up and shown the infinite world around him? Imagine that. Imagine if you took the donkey, lifted him up, and showed him that the earth was endless in all directions. Would this creature venture? He was obviously very content. And I think I was projecting my own feelings. <laughs> I was on this adventure. I was traveling and curious. So that's what that line means. And that is the most real, poignant part of the song. That's what this song is about. And yet, stone by stone, the fate of man is forever shown in the highest of cathedrals known that he was destined to know the infinite world around him there. I mean, that's uh, the human side of it, the human point of view. So it's in contrast to the little donkey. He was so cute. <laughs> I dreamt of an airship in the sky of a new design. I watched it fly away. And yes, that's a little dream I had. Again, I'm a Trekkie, so I wanted to maybe interject a little modern space travel into the song, again with the horizon line. What if all the world has shown you is not all there is to see. What if all that you were born to is not all there is to be? What if all unknown knows all that is still unknown? That's some wordplay. Everything that's unknown knows all that's unknown. Through our quest through space and time, beyond horizon's line. That is the kind of the end of the bridge, uh, probably the most powerful part of the song musically. So Last night I sat up and did a little practice uh, session on the piano because through the making of this video, uh, I am actually learning to play this song uh, and uh, we'll, we'll record it and um, mix it. So stay tuned for that. Well, hello. Uh, it's been a few days uh, since that last uh, scene, and I've worked very hard on this song uh, in, over the last few days, and I finally finished it. I'm very pleased with it. I posted it to iTunes. It has that orchestral sound that I, that I wanted. Um, I used um, Elton John's uh, Can You Feel the Love Tonight from The Lion King as reference. I used that track actually in the mixing of the song as well, just to compare my levels to, uh, to that song. I was shocked at the amount of reverb that they used in that song. I know it was in the 90s, but uh, my goodness, it was just an echo chamber of everything. So I used a heavy reverb on this song as well. I think it's fitting. Uh, I didn't go quite as heavy handed as, as, uh, as they did in that production, but I used a nice um, kind of a distant whistling flute sound uh, that you'll hear in the song. Uh, there are no drums in the song. It's just cymbals and shakers. I used a lot of French horns and uh, strings. There's a chorus which I'm very happy with uh, that comes in during parts of the song, like a female choir in the background that really adds a lot. Also, I did uh, practice the vocal for like four days, uh, just me and the piano, just to get my voice back, my breathing, the value of good practice. Number one, you get your breathing right. Number two, you get your range better. Number three, you're, you're confident uh, in, in the performance. Uh, you're not guessing, you're not sec second guessing. So it's something I'm going to do from now on uh, because I was in the habit of just writing a song and then recording the vocal as soon as I had, had the idea and didn't spend uh, a few days on it uh, first. So another happy accident was I used my acoustic guitar in the song and uh, there's a lot of flat chords and sharp chords that aren't particularly easy. So I ended up using a capo on the guitar 
so I could play chords that were easier for me. I know maybe that sounds lazy, but... I don't think I went that high. I think I went a couple of steps down. But um, it added a nice element to the song that I hadn't planned on. It added a sweetness to certain uh, parts of the song. And in the video, you'll see I changed my shirt when I'm playing my acoustic because I, I filmed the choruses one day and then came back and, and, and filmed the, me doing the verses the next day. So that's why I'm wearing a different shirt. Filming videos is new to me. And something else I wanted to mention, when I recorded the lead vocal, I did it in my vocal booth because it really makes it more quiet. And I'll show a little bit of that, me setting that up. But it makes it very quiet and I don't hear the refrigerator noise and it doesn't pick up the AC. But it does get a little warm in there and uh, there's not a lot of light. So I brought the camera in with me and in one light source. So I don't know whatever possessed me to bring in this HD camera and put it you know, maybe two feet from my face while I give birth to this song. You know, I'm 53 years old. It wasn't very forgiving. <laughs> I'm certainly not unhappy with the way I look, and I realize that with certain lighting and a distance, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was not pleased with the footage when I saw that, but uh, it was over, and I have to show you the making of it. So there it is, and, uh, you know, live and learn, you move on. But anyway, uh, this is... You know, I did shoot it, I did document the making of the song, and that's the point of the video. So, uh, for the sake of the song and for the sake of the video, uh, I will show you that now. Uh, but before you go, um, before I show you the song, uh, if you do like this content as much as I love uh, making it for you, um, I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. I do put them out every week. Um, kindly like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos and uh, on with the song Horizons Line Touching down on unfamiliar ground today Rolling hills of green and castles gray And I have ventured far away from home Ooh, To sacred ground where shadows of the past are formed in the first few seconds of a rainstorm the sky bears witness who she drops down to say hello Ooh. and I've walked a thousand miles I've crossed horizons over mountains under desert skies And I, I shot past the sun in a rocket ship to another time And I set sail by myself, set out to find myself And realize this dream of mine I've crossed horizons line seek the field of green beyond its reach realms beyond its possibilities if he were lifted up and shown the infinite world around him and yet stone by stone the fate of man of cathedrals known that he was destined to know the infinite world around him I dreamt of an airship in the sky
sky of a new design I watched it fly away So I crossed horizons over mountains and oceans And under desert skies I shot past the sun in a rocket ship to another time And I, I set sail by myself, set out to find myself And realize this dream of mine Horizons line. What if all the world has shown you is not all there is to see? What if all that you were born to is not all there is to be? What if all unknown it knows all that's still unknown of our quest through space and time? Horizons line.